In total, my double jaw surgery cost about 94,000 US dollars and took about two and a half years to complete. Sounds crazy? I know, I lived it. I'm gonna break down exactly what the time investment and the cost investment was and if it was worth it in the end, let's go. Before I had double jaw surgery, I had to go through a whole process of showing insurance companies I actually needed it. So what did I have to go through? I had to get a sleep study done on two separate occasions. I had to see multiple sleep physicians. I had to be prescribed and use a CPAP machine. And perhaps most importantly, I was able to meet with an organization that was specifically to help people have surgeries who had cleft palates as a kid. Now, the reason for jaw surgery is because I had severe sleep apnea. In a sleep study, I stopped breathing an average of 54 episodes or times every single hour, every night I was asleep for my entire life. I tried at-home solutions with sleep apnea pillows. I tried unique mouth guards. I slept on a massage table because I could sleep face down and it helped to keep my airway a little bit more open. I tried humidifiers. I tried no strips and none of them worked efficiently to actually help solve my sleep. And that left the only option being jaw surgery. The reason I decided to do this is because I was mentally in such a dark space from sleep apnea that I was at the point where I either wanted to stop living or I was gonna sell everything I had and move to some island and just live there for a few months while I try to figure out what I could possibly do to want to keep existing because I was getting such poor quality sleep. That's all I felt like I wanted to do. I was incredibly self-conscious about this. I never wanted to sleep in public, on a plane, around friends with a sleepover with a partner because I snored and I made loud noises and sleep apnea just ruined that whole aspect of my life for me. And that's when this two and a half year process started. I met with physicians and they concluded that almost the only option that I had was to do double jaw surgery to try to open up my airway so I could stop having sleep apnea and other complications. Now let's get to the complete cost breakdown and this is before insurance. In total, what I had to pay out of pocket for the whole process was about 15,000 US dollars. Sleep study and related visits, about $1,000. Orthodontist treatment, 6,500. Dentistry, specifically pulling two teeth because they had to make room for the surgery, was about $500. CAT scan and x-rays for surgery, about 3,000. Genioplasty, 4,150. What that is, it's moving the chin forward, which is a cosmetic surgery, not approved by insurance. It has to be paid out of pocket, but when you do jaw surgery, it helps to match your face a lot more because if you don't do it, then your chin ends up looking very unusual with your job. Taking the molds for surgery, 1200. The hospital bill from surgery itself and two day stay in the hospital was 63,500. And then the surgery bill to the doctor who performed the surgery was $14,100. That is the bulk of the costs. There are some additional costs for things like co-pays, gas, travel time, PTO you take in order to go to the doctors all the different times you do that. I'm gonna include that into the total and you end up with a number here. Here's what insurance or organizations covered. My orthodontist treatment was covered by the Cleft Institute of Utah. The hospital bill and surgery bill, which is the biggest chunk, totaling almost $80,000, was mostly covered by my personal insurance as well as US government medical assistance. Here are the things that were not covered that I had to take out of my pocket. Sleep study, dentist work, CAT scan and x-rays, genioplasty, the molds for surgery, and lastly, all the co-pays and insurance premiums, from the hospital as well as for visiting other doctors. But that's not it, because there's also a lot of additional costs that come with jaw surgery. First off, the month I had jaw surgery, I took off the semester from college. Through that two and a half year process, I also missed about five weeks of work, three of those being the weeks immediately following jaw surgery. Medical supplies, I had to buy a lot of specific things to help me recover from jaw surgery, anything from drinks to special chairs. And lastly, perhaps the most important is the social impact that it has on your life. I missed time from work, college, hanging out with friends. That's really hard to put a monetary value on, but it certainly is something that you have to give up in order to make this happen. Now let me fly through all the time that it took in order to make this happen. Full night stays for each sleep study, two meetings with the board of doctors in the Cleft Palate Institute, an orthodontist appointment every six weeks for two years, two dentist visits to pull teeth, six different visits to the maxillofacial surgeon who did the actual jaw surgery, 2.5 days spent in a hospital bed, three weeks where I couldn't work as I was recovering from surgery, six weeks where I was wired shut and I couldn't talk, and lastly about six months post-surgery until I could finally do normal activities. It was a constant battle with insurance companies and medical assistants to finally get this to work out. So that is how much it cost me to have a medically necessary surgery in the United States. If you're curious about how the procedure or recovery went, you can check out these other videos here. And if you have questions, I'll answer every single comment below. Just let me know. You're awesome. See ya.